Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna make Reuben sandwiches. And not like the Reubens I made last time. Randy can link those up there somewhere. And But today, we're gonna be using roast beef and Swiss cheese instead of corned beef and provolone. Either way, it makes a great sandwich. And we're also gonna be making our own homemade Thousand Island. Really inexpensive, easy to do, three ingredients, and y'all taste way better than that stuff in the bottle. Okay, so for your Reuben, you're gonna need some rye bread, some roast beef, some Swiss cheese, some sauerkraut, and Thousand Island dressing. And we'll get to that Thousand Island right now. Now to make your Thousand Island, it goes just like this. You're gonna need two cups of mayonnaise, a fourth of a cup of sweet pickle relish, and a fourth a cup of chili sauce. All right, back in my younger days, I used to be a server because I could work at night and Randy could work during the day and we could swap off. And that worked for us. We didn't have to pay a babysitter. And this restaurant was a really nice restaurant and they made all their own salad dressing. And this is one that I got from there because we had to make it every day. So it was impossible to ever forget. And here we go. All right, you're gonna need that two cups of mayonnaise. We're just gonna put that right on in a, two, in a quart jar. So we got plenty of room for mixing. And I'm using this handy dandy funnel so that I don't make a mess. All right, now we're gonna add that chili sauce right on in there. And we're gonna add that sweet pickle relish. We're gonna give that a good stir. And then I'm gonna go in there with a whisk and make sure that I really do a good job. And that's all there is to it. Honest to goodness, that's all there is to Thousand Island. Not difficult, doesn't cost a lot, easy ingredients. Have it anytime you want, fresh. And for a lower fat version, you can always use yogurt. You can easily swap out the two cups of mayonnaise for two cups of yogurt. There you go. All right, we're gonna get ready to assemble our sandwiches. The first thing we're gonna need to do is I'm gonna use a griddle today and I'm gonna set that griddle at about 325. Okay, now I'm gonna set this at about 325, which is in between 300 and 350, right in the middle. And we're gonna let that heat up. Now while that's heating up, I'm just gonna butter my bread on the outside so we can get nice and toasty. And y'all see, I use this little small spurtle. It makes the best peanut butter, jelly, butter spreader ever. Now, I'm not quite hot enough yet. I didn't get a little sizzle, but that's okay because I still have to assemble. So here we go with the assembly. We need Swiss cheese. We need a couple of pieces of roast beef. We need some sauerkraut. And make sure you drain your sauerkraut. You know, don't be trying to put all that juice on there because then it'll make your bread soft. And as much or as little sauerkraut as you like. Got our cheese, our roast beef. Our sauerkraut.
our Thousand Island. And I like to put that right on top of that sauerkraut. Let it drip all down through there. Yeah, my daughter goes to Tallahassee once every other month or so to a restaurant and they charge her $15 for a Reuben sandwich because nobody in her house likes Reubens and so she just goes up there, gets her one, and then she has her fix and she's done. I can do it for a whole lot less than $15. I can tell you, both these sandwiches aren't $15. You'd be lucky if you got seven in both sandwiches. Top it with the next slice of bread. Wait for it to get all nice and brown and heat it through. Oh yeah. Time to flip. Yes, perfect time to flip. Look at that. All right. Couple minutes on that side. That cheese is going to melt and we are ready. Now what you've been waiting for, the taste test. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just what you've been waiting for. But it's what I've been waiting for. Mmm. Most definitely. Very, very good. You outdid yourself on that one. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We out of here. Bye. See you next time. Watch the next video. Randy put one up there somewhere. <laughs>